guys, welcome back to my channel and let's talk about my top here. I got this from Forever 21 and I'm really loving it except it's like one of those tops where it just doesn't stay put and you're constantly adjusting it so I have to deal with it for a little bit so please bear with me. Okay, so today I am back to do an updated eyelash mascara routine. If you guys took a look at my last mascara routine, which was exactly a year ago actually. Notice how my eyelashes were long, but they were spidery. And to be honest, now that I'm watching it, I'm a little bit embarrassed. We're gonna go ahead and make an updated version. This time around, I'm a little bit more proud of them because they are longer and they are as full as they can be. Bear in mind that I am Asian, not sure if you can tell. I do have wimpy, wimpy Asian lashes and they're not going to be voluminous. You know, you do the best that you can with them and uh, I'm just gonna share those tips and tricks with you guys. One quick thing that I wanna tell you is that my lashes are a little bit longer than most Asian lashes. The reason why was because when I was a baby, my mom would like sneak in while I would take a nap and trim my lashes for me. And I guess an old wives tale is that if you trim your baby girl's lashes, she's gonna grow up with long, fluttery lashes. Is that true? Like, has your mom trimmed your lashes when you were a baby? And also, does this only happen in the Asian culture or does uh, other cultures do this as well? Let me know down below because I'm really, really curious. Now, however, the thing that was wrong with that story was that she told me that she snuck in while I was taking a nap and as she was trimming my lashes, I woke up mid-trim and some of my baby lashes got into my eye. I could have grown up with beautiful, long, luscious lashes or she could have totally blinded me so it was like good job mom good job almost lost my eyes there so yes my lashes are a little bit longer but they still need some love they need a little bit of TLC so I'm gonna share with you guys some of my beauty secrets y'all owe me one for this okay so the first thing is using a lash serum on your lash line and this one's by Nutrilux uh, lash MD it's so funny because I actually bought this in Hong Kong and I was trying to pick up facial cream for my mom and the lady was like hey you should use this I swear by it it's really great I think it was around 30 US dollars when I got this and then I looked on Amazon and it's available on Amazon but in two different sizes I think I got the larger one and I started using it in November and it was seriously life-changing we'll have to say this is my holy grail. What you do is you would apply a very thin coat right at your lash line. And I also do it on my bottom lash line as well because I do like the wider open effect. I do try to apply this every morning and night. And usually in the morning when I do it for a whole week, I see a huge significant difference. I would just apply this on the base of my lashes. And uh, it's really easy because it has like a liner in it and, there and everything. So that's that. Okay, so the next tip, even though this isn't really a big secret I'm sure a lot of people know about it but they just don't do it enough for it to really work and that is to condition your lashes with some kind of oil and a majority of the people would say that using castor oil would work really well and I do really like castor oil I don't have castor oil right now and I didn't want to go out and buy a big bottle but I did ended up using a bottle of rose hip oil you know the serum will help your lash grow I think the oil will help the shaft of each single lash to be thicker and wider so it'll just give it a fuller effect Some Sometimes like we would do the serum but then we forgo the oil and sometimes we would do the oil and we wouldn't even think about the serum but I think if we use both together it works out fantastically. I love this because it comes in a dropper formula and you know you don't have to use rosehip oil. I just think it works out fabulously so I'm just going to continue to use it. So what I do is I take the dropper out and I add a couple of drops onto like a little spoolie. I bought like a really really tiny one because I think it's better to be able to coat and go through your lashes especially if you have Asian lashes that are very fine you need a smaller spoolie but I just do like one drop and I kind of just run my finger through it and then I coat my lashes with them and I do this almost every single night before I go to bed but sometimes if I remember in the morning I would do it in the morning so I would just run it gently through my lashes and at night I will be kind of liberal with it but during the day I'm actually kind of careful because you don't want the oils to clump up your lashes okay so tip number three um, I do not curl my lashes anymore you guys I just feel like this contraption of eyelash death <laughs> what it does is that every single time when you curl your lashes you're pulling on your lashes and I feel like you're weakening it I don't know maybe it's just me but ever since I stopped curling my lashes I felt like my lashes are stronger and they don't fall out as much so I stopped curling my lashes and if you check out this video here I actually perm my lashes once every single month depending on how fast your lashes grow is how often you would have to do it but for me once a month works beautifully 
beautifully. So now your lashes are long and they're full and they're beautiful, but you still want to add a little bit of mascara onto them. The mascara that I've been using that I have been totally loving, um, this is the MAC False Lashes and it's the waterproof version. There's the non-waterproof formula as well. The reason why I suggest that you would apply your oil on in the morning as well is because of this mascara. It is super hard to take off and just having that oil base underneath would just help it glide off. Very waterproof and for those of you who live in super humid areas, this is a really good mascara for you. I discovered a new way to apply uh, my mascara onto my lashes so that not only are they longer but they're also fuller and when I say fuller I'm talking about like as full as I can get for my lashes so what I do is I actually get myself like a little lash comb like this and this is the one with the tiny little spoolie at the end so you guys know how I love my two fur so get something with a double end like this and I just run the comb through the bristle of the mascara wand and I just try to get as much of the products as I can without clogging up the teeth in between the comb and then in a zigzag motion I would apply the mascara to my lashes now with the comb it'll just apply just enough to your lashes without clumping it you should let that first coat dry while you're working on the other coat and just because they're so thin they would dry really really quickly I would go back and I would apply a second coat and depending on how fabulous I want to feel that day I might possibly do a third coat yeah the comb helps lengthen your lashes it also helps separate and add volume to your lashes as well I've done this many many times and I've gotten compliments many times from a lot of people have asked me if I'm wearing false lashes and I said no they're my real lashes so yeah those are the things that I pretty much do to give myself healthy long voluminous lashes yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope it was helpful and I really really hope that this works out for you because it's been working for me keep in mind that your lashes grows in cycles of around 6 to 12 weeks so you most likely won't see results for around six weeks but if you just hang in there I promise you I promise you all of your efforts will be truly fruitful so that's it you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video then please like it down below share it with everyone you know and of course subscribe to my channel leave a comment saying hi below and I'll talk to you guys later remember to Rock us, lovies. Bye. Love you guys much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hello. So I just got done getting dressed. I feel like I'm always getting dressed really, really late. Like I wait till the very last minute when I have to go and then I like throw on some clothes. And then like the worst part about it is that I ended up not liking what I put on. So, um, okay.